Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one is of the Mission Thrift and Gift in Elora. Over to the right of the uh, building, you'll see in a moment, is the parking area for the horse and buggies. So we are in the Mennonite portion of the province where they still ride horses and carriages. And here we are, we're entering. It's lovely doors that they've used, uh, nicely finished. And we are into the clothing. I don't think I found any of the Hawaiian shirts here, unfortunately. You never know where you find them. That the uh, work work jacket there, her shirt. the uh, high visibility markings on it. Fabrics, sheets, towels, all sorts of stuff. An old suit, in the suitcase. Well, the prices aren't exactly low in all areas. Some things are surprisingly good. Other things, not so. But, hey, they're doing it for a particular reason. And they're trying to cater to the uh, shoppers that they do get. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised that there are a number of people coming up from the Kitchen Waterloo area for this area. number of fishing rods. I'm not into knowing which particular fishing rods are of any greater value than others. There are those who are. And we're into the harder goods there for a moment. There's a substantial section of books, including one of just children's. And the one shelf that was vintage books, as they called them. And they were marked with pencil on the inside for their price. I did pick up something. And it was personal interest. some of the more precious items that they'd uh, put into this cabinet. Some costume jewelry. Here's one of the books that was in the vintage area. I believe it's a book of music. Leather jackets. And they had this substantial grouping of what I would call a uh, African art, whether it was just made for tourists or it was were authentic, I don't know, um, but there was quite a bit of it. Six elephants leading one another, that was curious with the tusks down. It's not usually how folks want to see them. Uh, not tusks, but trunks. Some other interesting items. Uh, 
were included in that, but there was there's a lot of them there. I was surprised. Number of canes, but I wasn't looking for a cane this time. Some electronics. Not a bad selection, I must say. Quilts. It is Mennonite country. So there was quite a bit of clothing, clothing there. These are all the hard goods. And the glassware and picture frames in this case. They had some smaller items there. There was a appears to be a full coffee tea set with saucers, a milk glass plate with the cutouts. few other art pieces. And these are just fabric pieces that are rolled up. Yarns. Uh, I think those were knitting pattern and sewing pattern books. That's what fits that area. glass that uh, I check over for Westwood Avenue. Greeting cards. Uh, they had this funny little nook there that included um, undergarments. It was set up in a way that it allowed for some privacy without being private but allowed for some privacy. For the somebody who might be looking for that, even if they were um, of the Mennonite group. So it's a substantial store. It's divided in essentially in two by a, a wall separating one side from the other side, but it has a couple of openings. Um, there were change rooms I think I remember seeing um, yes I think there were and that's the children's areas separated up in a slightly elevated portion and then they had some of these uh, cabinets that were locked and you could get access it was right near the cache it's some other items there. Um, I think that was a book cart so that either they could return books or they hadn't put them out yet. So they have quite a substantial selection of all kinds of things. I was quite surprised I didn't expect it to be quite this large and um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour. I'd appreciate a, a, a subscribe and a like and maybe even a tinkle in the bell so you'll get notified of the next one. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.